Nobody likes an irresponsible driver, yep, not even their own mother. Because not only are these people safety hazards on the road, they cause traffic, extra traffic, and we already have an abundance of that. Welcome to Pilipinas Got Talent, Tados. Yep, on the road especially, there are no shortage of people like that. You know who they are, so what we've done is collect a series of videos that you've submitted to us to showcase what we want to avoid on the road. Basically, if we can emulate the good, take out the bad, we can finally have a country that's worth driving for, or at least doesn't feel like UFC on wheels. People always say that your life flashes before your eyes just before you die. How they know this, I don't know. How many dead people did they interview to find that out? Well, that's your guess, not mine. But basically, that light in this case could be coming from the headlights of a reckless driver. There are too many of them out there. So what we've done is we've collated the top five near-death experiences that were all caught on Dashcam. These were either submitted to us or they were shared on Facebook through our Facebook page. And we've just put them together to show you just how bad it is out there. But just a warning for some of the viewers who are a little bit sensitive, some images can be a little bit disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, our first near-death experience is a couple of motorcycles. Now, it's easy to sort of say that this was a case of running a red light, but I think it's not so much that because technically speaking, even though it was very borderline, the second motorcyclist actually crossed the line right after or before it turned red. But the problem here was the proximity to the rider in front. You should allow a very safe distance between you and the vehicle in front because in a case like this where discretion was used by the rider in front to slow down and stop at the light, the other guy didn't really have a hope in hell and well, it all ended up upside down for him. Okay, our next video shows it's not just the drivers that are being silly out there. It is also pedestrians and they have a responsibility. Take a look at this. Boom! How close was that? This is a classic case of just, just being completely careless, running a red light. But what upsets me most about this video is not necessarily what the pedestrians did, although that's bad enough. It was the comments after people defending the pedestrians. Pedestrians do have priority, but not on a controlled intersection where there are lights. They only have priority when it is not controlled by lights. If the lights are green, that means go anywhere in the world. Follow it. It's there for a reason. This one here is just a little bit too bizarre for words. I mean, really, when they say a picture paints a thousand words, whoo, this one here, it is just, you, you couldn't write a script for this. Comes all the way from the third, fourth lane, actually. They've actually made four lanes there out of what were two, and then comes in completely blind and hits that traffic enforcer. This has just got to be the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and believe me, I've seen a lot. Okay, our next video shows the importance of education, not just for drivers, but also for school children. This is, it should start already as early as first grade or, or even younger, where to cross the road and how. Now take a look as these children just dart across the road and just without looking, boom, they cross and then they'll get hit by this motorcycle over here. Now, it's a given that the motorcyclist is clearly at fault here because there is a reason why cars have stopped like that. And this is a pet hate of mine with motorcycles. Every time you've stopped in traffic like this, they zip past you. There's a reason why you stopped. In most cases, it's to let something that's coming across through. So when they come across and dart along the sides, they usually hit that thing that you were trying to avoid. In this case, it happened to be two school children. But let's not excuse the children as well. They should be taught from a young age where to cross the road. This builds their road safety awareness because because later on, when they get into cars, they will be more aware of pedestrians as well. And our last video is a really, really good one. See what I did there? This is about as bizarre as videos get. We're not even sure if this happened in the Philippines. It probably didn't. Some of the architecture doesn't look right. But if you think this is absolutely insane, this guy in a wheelchair tagging along the back of this uh, coaster over here, take a look at the guy in a motorcycle with one hand filming the whole thing. <laughs> Well, these are just countless accidents or accidents waiting to happen on the road that go undocumented every single day. And our goal here is to try to reduce that by showing you just how stupid it is. Nobody gains anything from it. So a little courtesy, a little bit of discipline, and we'll all get a little bit further. Remember, it's better to be just a little bit late than to arrive dead on time. And if you know what I'm talking about, well, why don't you pop us an email? We can talk about it or feature the videos over here. It's ts.jamesd at gmail.com.